Hey there everybody, Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter from CarterMatt.com. This video is our preview and early theories for This Is Us Season 4, Episode 16. It is entitled New York, New York, New York, so we know what it is about. <laughs> the city's so nice they named it twice or thrice. This is New Jersey. <laughs> We're talking about New Jersey, everyone. No, it's the New York episode. There's been a few little teases about this out there over the past month or so. We'll go through some of that. We'll share the synopsis, much as it is for this episode. Uh, we're recording this prior to the promo coming out, so we'll have a promo discussion a little bit later on down the road. Before we dive into anything more, though, if you enjoy this video, give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other updates. We already have a reaction up for tonight's episode, mm -hmm. so be sure to check that out. The bad news, there's no episode of This Is Us next week. The reason for that, I think mostly is just that NBC, they've got other stuff going on, and they also, they've got this schedule kind of planned out. It sounds like March 10th, the 17th, and the 24th, that's where we're going to have the rest of these episodes fall. They do have another show that they're putting on later in the spring, so they got to end it sooner rather than later. Just not apparently so soon that we get a new episode next week. I mean, come on. I just, I can't believe that we're already, like, around I know. the end of the show. The show is so good. It just feels like... Those, those great moments that just go by in a flash because they're so good and you're yeah. having such a good time watching it. So And yeah, and then we're going to be off for like six months until season five oh, premieres probably in September. Okay, we so, don't need to face that just No, yet. that real that's a reality. We, we have other realities to face at the moment, including the source of the Kevin Randall feud. So yeah. there's a lot they have to cram into these episodes. The synopsis does not give away much. But it tends at the fact that the Pearsons are visiting New York City. Mm -hmm. I think the reason why this is probably framed that way is because it's probably related to the past somehow. I yeah. feel like it could be the big three visits New York City if it was the present or certain characters in Rebecca. But having the entire family go to New York, that's... That could be fun, right? There could be some antics there. I think it's going to be fun. I mean, it's always fun when you're young and you're going to a great big place. And yeah. New York, what a what a great city. And it's so, it's just huge. There's so much that's going on. There's so much to see. And that is a really cool, fun trip. So yeah. I think this is going to be, like you said, a Pearson family trip that they're going to do something really cool. And we know that there has been some actual filming that has happened on location in New York, so this is not going to be, oh, we're moving to a soundstage and trying to make L.A. look like New York. It's going to kind of feel authentic. They have announced that they are going to have an appearance of someone as Kevin's acting coach. Okay. So this could be an episode where we sort of see Kevin, as a younger man, sort yep. of start to hone his craft a little bit. Yep. and. I think this could be fun. I mean, my belief is that Dave Annabelle is going to be playing this character. And, you know, presumably, you know, some people do have acting coaches that are a part of their lives for decades on end, right? Yeah, it's true. And, I mean, he has had a bunch of different steps in his career and doing The Manny, which is more of, like, sort of a lighthearted comedy stuff. We've seen him working with Ron Howard now, where he's done something a lot more serious. So, I mean, he could could still have this coach over time or this could be something kind of cool where like maybe he reunites with this coach i, I think yeah. we're gonna have kevin going to new york i i think for sure kevin will be making an appearance i mean definitely in the past maybe yeah. also in the present because it does feel as though he, he talked about the movie premiere tonight and yeah. if my memory serves me correctly i believe that movie premiere may be in new york so it could be an opportunity to bring, you know, our current iteration of Kevin back there. That's also important for one other reason that's not related to movies. Sophie, New York City. I mean, she's not in Manhattan, I believe, but she is around. Yeah, and I mean, if he's in town, I feel like he's got to at least give her some sort of a call or a text or yeah. something to just be like, hey, I'm in town. and. If she feels that she wants to get in touch or maybe it'll be the other way around and she'll know that he's going to be in town obviously everyone's going to know that this premiere is coming up yeah maybe she decides to make that that connection which would be kind of cool because it's yeah. usually kevin's ending up on her doorstep and she's like what are you doing yeah. here the 
This Is Us is taking great pleasure in jerking us in every possible direction on the who is Kevin ending up with because tonight you started to become a lot more of a believer in Kevin and Madison than before. Yeah, there was a lot of... They were small, but they were there. Hints that it could be Madison that is the fiance slash mother of his child that yeah. you know i don't know that they would end up together in the very end but there were there were a couple things especially when toby said please tell me madison's not gonna end up being my sister-in-law then i was like oh, okay yeah we're going down this road and then we also still have cassidy who is out there yep. as a possibility i you know we can't completely ignore her either and i wouldn't want to i no. like cassidy yeah cassidy's a great character i mean jennifer yep. morrison's great i'm never going to object to her being a part of this show moving forward they've been yep. very very cryptic about whether or not she could ever return so make of that whatever you will mm -hmm. They're all still out there. I mean, maybe Kevin doesn't see Sophie at all, but it just feels like you have an obvious opportunity to sort of take this on in this episode. Yeah, and in tonight's episode, we had a lot of sort of Kevin stepping up, Kevin knowing what his mom needs from him specifically. She wants him to be the person that helps him or helps her. Yeah get past some of this and just not think about it for a little while and actually just remember having fun and and experiencing different things and having these things happen while she still has her memory and it just not being doom and gloom. So when she asked him, you know, hey, I know your premiere's coming up. Matt Damon takes his mom, yeah. so take me. That there was sort of that idea that he would do something like that for her. This is... This episode, I think, was very important for bringing these two together in a way that we're going to see it, that Kevin is going to be the caretaker in the future, since she is staying at his yeah. house in the future. And that, I mean, it certainly seems like a very feasible scenario that that is the route that they're going, and I think because Kevin has some level of success, maybe that makes it a little bit easier, but... I think there are a few still questions kind of lingering, and we've talked about some of these before, but one question I want to throw at you for these final episodes, are we going to get some more information about what happened to Miguel and the flash forwards? Because, I mean, Miguel's barely on the show anymore, for one thing. I mean, he was there, I don't know, maybe like four minutes in tonight's episode. I think Miguel has passed. I think he's passed away. I just, I, I don't know. Yeah. I think it feels like if he's not there, I just, I feel like he has passed away because Nikki is a person who is sitting by her bed is not Miguel. Yeah. Miguel may, maybe he's taking a nap in the other room. Yeah. Something in my gut just tells me that she is going to lose two husbands. I feel like that's the more likely scenario. And I mean, I'm not saying I'm rooting for Miguel to die by any means, but no. I, I don't, but I don't want this. It's better than the scenario of Miguel just abandons her because it's too much for him oh, to deal with see, that. I don't see that happening for a few reasons. One, I do believe that he really loves her. I do her. too. And two, I think that he really loves Jack still. Yeah. And that he would never do something like that to Jack that he did promise that he was going to take care of her until the end of yeah. time. I think he's going to take care of her until at the end of his time. I think he has passed. Yeah, I think it, I think it's better that he's passed. I don't want to see the, the Miguel character just suffer more character assassination because I already think he has no. a hard enough time as it is. He does. Of course, we have the question of what causes the feud between Kevin and Randall. Yeah, and now with this sort of this idea that maybe Kevin is going to be the person who's taking on more of the care, that yeah. he is the person that Rebecca's looking to for something very specific. She wants to have fun with him. She needs this from yeah. him. She's now going to be getting something from Kevin specifically that she is not getting from Randall, that Randall is not the person that is providing it. I think that this stuff is going to start building up into a problem. And if she's just, well, she has just gotten this diagnosis, Randall may be even more sort of like, I need to get a grip on this. I need to get more control over this. And then Kevin being like, oh, I'll take him on to New York. So catch you later sort of thing that yeah. that might just be like, and starting to really cause a problem yeah. because the idea of care, healthcare in families between siblings can rip people apart. It's, it makes a lot of sense that that's where this is going at this point, that maybe Randall objects to what Kevin's doing because he feels like he always knows best. And 
I think it's going to take a lot of therapy for Randall to realize that it's okay to trust other people and not be so wound up all the time. I think we'll get there with Randall, but I don't know if we're going to get there the rest of this season. So maybe that's the source of all of the drama that's coming. Yeah. The only other mystery we have is what's going on with Kate and Toby. And we talked about this a lot in the reaction, but there are questions about, you know, is Kate going to find out about Jack going to the hospital with Toby? Maybe that's a problem. I mean, we'll find out in due time, I'm sure. Yeah, I feel like that's not going to be a thing that they're just going to leave. It doesn't... Yeah. This show doesn't really do that. No, they don't. They, they'll they they'll pick it up, I'm sure, in due time. It's just, is it going to be March 10th? Is it going to be this season? We will have to wait and see. But for now, what do you guys think is coming on This Is Us Season 4, Episode 16? Give us your thoughts and theories in the comments. And if you do like this video, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel and you can support us further by checking the link in the description to the Curter Matt store. And we'll see you here next time.